in this video guys we're going to talk about bankruptcy accounts not identified now this is doesn't do anything for your bankruptcy if you're already going through bankruptcy unfortunately you have to go through bankruptcy you already chose that option um it's a court legal document i mean it's already legally documented so there's nothing legally we can really do but if you do see some stuff on there that was supposed to be in your bankruptcy um declared as bankruptcy and you still see it um what this letter does it's just saying to the the creditor that it was supposed to be part of the bankruptcy proceedings uh that's a copy of um identified it should have been identified in the bankruptcy um, it shouldn't be outside the bankruptcy, so it shouldn't be on my credit report right now. So I want you to take it off. Um, what you want to do is, so you want to send this letter to all three credit bureaus, um, and the city, state, and zip. You should already have it in your credit dispute letters, so you can go back and get those. And then again, you want to put your your name, your address, city, state, zip, social security number um with these i'm not i've never been through a bankruptcy proceedings but what we what we learned in the past that is that you don't have to send um like with the credit um repair letters you have to send uh proofs of identity i and stuff that like that you don't have to do that what i would do is put the case number your case number from your bankruptcy near the end, near the bottom right here or either near the top here um, so you might have to go back to your proceedings and see what the case number is